everybody. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So I had a different video that I was going to post today. Um, cause I usually shoot a day in advance, but last night there was a mass shooting and it was very close, very close to me. And, um, I knew people that were there. And you know, when something like this tragic happens and it's far away, you know, you, you have sadness, but when it hits home and it's right in your community and you feel safe and now you no longer feel safe, it's really unnerving. And I'm just going to say this, the world energetically is in chaos. We're having a spiritual war basically because there's so much light hitting the planet and so many people are having consciousness, uh, accelerated co expansion of consciousness that the counteraction to that is that the dark wants to keep us asleep. We, the, it, whoever, whatever it is that wants to prevent humankind from expanding their consciousness is raining down negativity on this planet and inciting people to fall into that negative vortex and I believe that the pharmaceutical companies and many other large corporations on this planet do not have humankind's best interest at heart and I believe that we have the ability to help people and heal people and instead as a whole the medical industry and the pharmaceutical industry medicate people to get them to be slaves to their drugs and there's so much mental illness now because of the psychiatric or psychotic anti-psychotic drugs and opiates that are inundating our society it's the saddest thing and I know the shooter was mentally unstable because of some PTSD but he could have been treated and he shouldn't have had a firearm you know why do we allow people and now there's so many of them in our society because of all these drugs that people are being fed. How can we allow people that are unstable and that are living in a chaotic and insane world have firearms? Because it's not safe. It's not safe for our children. It's a sad day today. And there've been a lot of sad days this year. And this is a day when it takes a lot of effort to stay positive. But I will tell you that that's what we're supposed to do, even in the light of tragedy. Because if we all just go down into the dark, then we will have lost the war. And then there won't be any more point. So, blessings and um, sending healing and nurturing to all the families, victim, the victims of the families. And we all must focus on our blessings because life is so precious and fr fragile that one minute it could be done. So every minute here is precious and we need to make the most of it by staying positive, even in the darkest dark. Because even in the darkest room, one pinpoint of light can change everything. Okay, blessings and peace.